Let me say a couple of things about why I think it is so important that we have a new governor. Uh, number one, uh, I do think we need to have someone who believes in a pro-business, low-tax state that is good for raising our families and teaching our values. And that's what I will do. I think that our taxes have gone up too much in the last 10 years. I think that we are seeing uh, so much power in one person, the power of appointment, that we're beginning to see uh, really uh, a heavy handedness that I think is not healthy in our state. One of the first things that I will do is uh, ask the legislature to submit a constitutional amendment for term limits for governor because I think that uh, having a change, having new people come in, having uh, more input um, is very healthy for our state. Number two, I want to make sure that we're addressing the issues that I think are not being addressed today. Let's take number one, the Trans-Texas Corridor. I do believe in private property rights. I have been a Texan and my great-great-grandfather, as you know, signed the Texas Declaration of Independence. So I have gone back a long way. And I know that Texas was founded on the principles of private property ownership, private property stewardship, taking care of our land, and not having the federal government take our land unless it is a specific public purpose. I think the Trans-Texas Corridor is the biggest land grab in the history of our state. I do not think that we should toll every highway in Texas. I have put amendments on every transportation bill for the last four years that would prohibit tolling a federal highway that has already been built by our taxpayers. I will do the same thing in Texas. I want to make sure that we have local input. I want to reform the Texas Department of Transportation. It has become too top-down, dictatorial, and I want to make it bottom-up. I want a local input into TxDOT. I want more members of the TxDOT board that represent all of our state so that we have transportation planning that goes from our rural areas to suburban areas to our urban areas, and that includes freight as well as people moving. So I think we need a lot more um, planning, a lot more collaboration in our tech stop. And I will tell you this, when I take the oath of office as governor of Texas, the Trans-Texas Corridor will really be dead. And number two, I will support the Farm Bureau's efforts to make a real private property rights bill of rights and try to protect us from the eminent domain that we have seen in this state in the last 10 years that has, in my opinion, gone way too far. We can do better and I will lead that effort. In addition, I want to say that I want to meet the issues that every family cares about. We need to have a public education system in our state that produces an educated workforce. K or pre-K through 14 should be basic education in Texas so that every child has uh, in their schools broadband and the ability to be computer literate. Uh, I want every child to have the capability with a public education in Texas to go to college, two years or four years. Two years is essential, at least, to have the educated workforce for the future so that we have the nurses and the med techs and the technicians and the, the skills that would be uh, able to give every person in Texas uh, the right to have uh, an income that supports their families. So these are the things that I, I think have been left out. I want more access to health care. Not the kind that's going through Congress right now, but the kind that will give more small business people the options to give their employees more individual capability to get affordable health care. Not through taxes and fines and more regulations and a government takeover, but by offering more options in a free market system. And that's what I will produce. Last but not least, I want ethics reform to set the standard in Texas for our governance in the future.
I no longer want to see uh, a lobby that goes in and out in a revolving door in the governor's office or in our state legislature. I want to have uh, some kind of wall so that you can't just go in and start lobbying and then roll back into the governor's office and then roll back out and start lobbying again. We need a new day in Texas. We need to have some campaign reform. We need some campaign contribution limits. I think it is time that we start looking at our governance and making sure that it is the people who count in our state uh, rather than the Austin insiders and lobbyists. So these are the things that I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it with the help of the great people that are standing with me and that are all over this state. The grassroots movement in the Farm Bureau is what I want to build in Texas so that we have a people-oriented governor government for all of Texas. And that is what we're going to work together to do. And I am ready to join hands with every one of you and tell you once again how much I appreciate you. I will promise you two things. You will have an open door. Uh, you will have an ear for your ideas and um, the things that you think are important for our state. And uh, I, I can guarantee you that we are going to work together with every elected official in our state, regardless of party, to do what is best for Texas going down the road. We can have a Texas for 2025 that prepares our children for college, that prepares our workforce for good salaries, uh, that protects our private property rights, that keeps lower taxes in our state, uh, keeps a good business environment and a good family environment in which to grow and prosper and have the kind of life that we've grown up with in Texas and our children certainly deserve. Thank you very much. Thank all of you. Thank you very much.